welcome to The Eastgate and Me, a series of six short documentaries recorded during lockdown and looking at the vital role that the Eastgate Theatre has played in shaping the development and career choices of some of the young people who have passed through its welcoming doors in the 16 years since it opened in 2004. With the Eastgate now open again, well, at least for cake and coffee, you'll hear from eight young actors, some of whom now intend to pursue a career in the performing arts, all of whom have grown as individuals through their involvement with this iconic People's Landmark. This week I'm speaking with Alice Jones and Daniel Askew. Alice is one of those understated actors that are a director's dream to work with. Whatever role she is asked to play, she delivers with consummate professionalism and her love of theatre is such that she's now intent on pursuing a career in the performing arts. Daniel's another with his eyes set firmly on a career in this industry and he grows more confident with each part he's cast in. And you'll see from the ensuing conversation just how big an influence the Eastgate has been in the development of both Alice and Daniel. And, as this was a Zoom call, expect the odd blooper and technical glitch. Daniel has been uh, working with uh, me during the lockdown, haven't you, Daniel? Yeah, okay. And Hello. Tell us what role you played during lockdown. Uh, I played Will in the, the Exit. The sitcom thing that you wrote. That's right, and that was a—it was basically a parody of a parody. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what W One A was, do you remember W One A, Alice? Maybe you don't. It was a parody of the BBC. So I wrote a parody of uh, that parody, uh, all about exiting from lockdown. And, uh, Daniel very kindly played um, Will, who was not the brightest thing on two feet, was he? No, no. <laughs> okay. But we'll just have to hang on a little minute as Daniel has just suddenly disappeared. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's back. <laughs> yeah, hi. You're not on your phone this time. You, you're actually on the... Um... No, I am. It's just sideways. Oh, it's sorry. <laughs> yeah. Right, OK. So I think you, you didn't lose out on anything I was saying there. So, I mean, no. Alice, what have you been doing during lockdown? Mm, nothing. I've been doing almost nothing uh, it's been it feels like it's been very unproductive Un has to be said. what were you doing before lockdown hit you though um mostly uni stuff like it was just entering exam season right. and where, where are you studying right now queen margaret and i'm doing drama ah. so some of the practical stuff we'd started where some of we hadn't even touched upon when it came to the beginning of lockdown because like half of the half of it's pr practical and the other half is all theory based so it was a bit disappointing because we were all excited about we had this um end of year show we were going to put on and it's, it was like such good fun and we'd only it felt like we'd only just begun before we had to like Stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and Daniel, what what about you? You you are not at college, you're still at school. So what what, what year are you in and what impact has lockdown had on you? Uh I've just gone to fifth year. So we we didn't do any of our fourth year exams. Which isn't very good because I didn't have the best uh, prelims. You were you were in about three shows when um we were doing our forty dining tour, um which obviously got cold but what, what else were you doing and what happened to those shows um well obviously faulty dining had to be stopped halfway through uh midsummer night stream the shakespeare square has been postponed till next year and, what, and i was meant to be you know, what were you doing in that uh, i was playing demetrius okay one of the leads. Yeah, yeah one of the leads okay so you, you had you learned your words by that point no not quite <laughs> okay <laughs> And what else were you involved in? You, I think you're normally involved in about three things at once, aren't you? Uh, I met some, uh, no. Swallows and Amazons, sorry. Yeah, that oh. was cancelled. Uh, Alice, what, what have you missed during lockdown then? Like, it's not about the actual things. Like, I can stay at home and have a home-cooked meal and it's just as fun. But it makes you kind of feel like you appreciate what you don't have anymore. 
because there's a lot of things that you can do at home but because you have to do it at home now it makes you think oh like i i wish i wish i could have the choice to go out and do that like meeting friends if i want to meet a group group of friends we have to call which is fine like but it kind of makes you miss the times that you could all like hang out and have a laugh is that the yeah. same, is that the same for you daniel yeah i mean a rugby season had to be cancelled so that's quite a big part it's gone um yeah i mean i was again i was on a lot of like calls with friends during lockdown so it's not been like seeing them it's not been too bad mm-hmm. but then it's like yeah doing activities like playing football or rugby I just missed that we, we've been working or i've been working with you guys since you were quite a bit younger than you are now i think alice i started with did you do ebenezer in 2011 did. Did. yes i would have been like 10 yeah. So Lionsgate played a, a a big role in your growing up. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, did it? Did it? Yeah. Um, did going there um, help uh, you in deciding what you wanted to do uh, for university and, and possibly as a career? Yeah, definitely. Because like with the Eastgate, there's such a sense of like community, and I always remember when we would go down with the school for something, I'd be like, oh, like, I know what's backstage and, and like, I know the person up doing the lights. Like, I'm sure everyone who's been in tons of shows at the Eastgate has, like, had a peek up at the lighting deck and you get to know the people that work there and you, like, know the ins and outs, so. So it's more than just a theatre, it's sort of an education resource then. Yeah. Um, for you. Was it, is that, would it be fair, Daniel, to say that um, the Eastgate's done something similar for you? Because you've been, I, I think I started working with you around about, 2014 when you were a little bit smaller than you are now um yeah you you were dan is it dandy dan in in um bugsy malone yeah that was my first show the escape yeah um yeah, i think it's it's been really good because it's like alice said the community and it's like open doors you know being involved in this community because like Forty dining for example I got offered the role because I, I knew you through other shows. I think all, obviously it all started when I went for Bugsy Malone. Because I think I saw it in the people's show like a week before and I was like, I should go I should go do that. And then obviously I did. So if the Eastgate wasn't there, then I wouldn't have started drama, I don't think. And I, yeah. If the Eastgate wasn't there, what difference would it make to you? For me, like there's been so many memories attached to the Eastgate and if it wasn't there then it would be devastating for like all the younger people I know who I've met through drama to have that taken away from them. Would would you uh, agree with that Daniel? Um, Yeah I mean I I think it is the whole thing about it'd just be really sad that no one else would have the chance because it's been such a great platform for us to like develop and like do more drama. Why do you both enjoy the performing arts? What, what is it about the performing arts that, that floats your boat? Alice? Entertaining people. Like I love being on stage and stepping into something new and like seeing all the faces. And Daniel? For me, I would say, I think... To, to people I don't know, like people who I don't know personally, I would say I wouldn't come across as like really, really confident, like to anyone I wouldn't know. So I think it maybe gives me like a sort of, sort of, it's a disguise really when you're portraying someone else. It allows me to just have maybe a false sense of confidence when performing to people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like, it's adrenaline as well, you know. There's nothing better than. Like standing off backstage, about to go on for like the first time. You, you were quite heavily involved in Shakespeare, um, the sort of Shakespeare shorts that we had running. I think did, I think you've done all three of them, haven't you? Up in the uh... yeah, all three. What, what what was that like as an experience? That was the best experience I had as an actor. It was just so different from anything we'd ever done, and it was. 
it was exciting to like be up in Edinburgh and to work with the same group of people that I had been working also was like really good fun because we all shared the experience and like it was it was like going out our comfort zone but with a group of people we were comfortable with yeah. so <clears throat> so Alice what did appearing in shows at the Eastgate do for you as a person I think it made me more uh, open to like meet new people, make new connections, learn more cultures, I guess. Because some of the shows um, I'd never heard of or I didn't know very well. So coming into them, like when we did Ebenezer, I obviously knew it from from like movies and stuff, but it got me to like recognize more about Charles Dickens. So I think it opened my mind. Okay, that's a that's a really good answer. Daniel, what, what about you? I would say confidence is quite a big one. So I think I've become a lot more confident over the years performing. Um, the social aspect as well, because there's lots of people that I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know Alice actually, if it wasn't for like the skate and Slots, yeah, there's a whole community that I wouldn't know if I didn't get involved. I mean, as a sort of sort of exit question, I mean, if, Alice, if the Eastgate hadn't been there, would you be where you are now? No, I like absolutely not. I would not be. The Eastgate has been the stepping stone from me doing drama as a hobby to wanting to be in theatre as a career. Like without it, I don't. I would not be in university studying drama. I don't know what I'd be doing, but I would not be. No, <laughs> is the answer to that. That's a powerful statement, da- Daniel. You're still studying at school at the moment, but but the same yeah. goes to you. I mean, I don't. I think if the East Key wasn't there, I wouldn't even have looked at drama because, literally, up until the week of like the first ever audition, I, I never really thought about it. So it's just. It was just so amazing that it was there. It's just chance. It's all. It was just chance that I looked and I saw the audition. It provides about as good an advertisement as you could possibly have for what is actually a, it's been a invaluable community resource over the last few years. Right. <laughs> well, with that, I leave you. Thank you very much indeed again for taking part in this. Really appreciate you taking time out and um, stay in touch. Well done. All right. Thank you.